cremation of care ceremony at the Bohemian Grove. Charles K. Field 1946-1953, ritual still used at the Bohemian Grove. The Sire Bohemians, by the power of our fellowship, do care is slain. Hearken. High up the hill you may hear care's funeral music. Tolling of the bell and faint, far strains of the funeral dirge D.E.N.K. Torches are glimpsed in the distance. Music and light approach. The Sire. Behold, the effigy of this, our enemy, is carried hither for our ancient rites. Music ceases, drumbeat accompanies the descent of cortege. The cortege passes through the denny to circle and down the main aisle as the band and the effigy of care proceed down the road to the floor of the grove. When the torch bearers are leaving the dining to circle, followed by the old guard, the sire announces, Bohemians, follow to Bohemia's shrine. The band resumes the funeral dirge denk. The band turns into the traffic road, where it continues to play. The spectators pass to their seats opposite the shrine, through the two columns of the torch bearers who flank the path to Edwards Road. The shrine is bathed in the soft, flickering light from the lamp of fellowship. The radiance of the rising full moon touches the crown of Hamadryad's tree. Zero stage chorus of woodland voices. The Hamadryad emerges from the bark. Music by Jen Philip Chiron and W.J. McCoy. Members of the class of 1912, University of California, Berkeley, California, at Bohemian Grove. The Lamp of Fellowship, next to Owl Shrine. The Hamadryad singing. Beauty, and strength and peace, they are yours. They shall never cease while the trees are, and the hills. The stars come in with the night, and the wind, like a presence, fills the temple aisles of the wood. It is yours, it is good, it is made for your delight. Beauty, and strength and peace, they are here that you find release from the mournful memories. Oh, cast your grief to the fire, and be strong with the holy trees in the spirit of the grove. In your dreams you shall rove to the land of heart's desire. Sterling. The Hamadryad retires into the tree. The illumination fades. The shrine is now in full moonlight. Enter, accompanied by the music of Charles Hart, the high priest, assisting priests, and choristers. The high priest. The owl is in his leafy temple. Let all within the grove be reverent before him. Lift up your heads, O ye trees, and be ye lift up, ye ever-living spires. For behold, here is Bohemia's shrine and holy are the pillars of this house. Weaving spiders, come not here. The high priest descends to the water's edge. Hail Bohemians. With ripple of waters and the song of birds. Such music as inspires the sinking soul. Do we invite you to midsummer's joy? The sky above is blue and sown with stars. The forest floor is heaped with fragrant drift. Evening's cool kiss is yours, the campfires glow, the birth of joyous rosy-fingered dawns. Shake of all your sorrows with the city's dust and scatter to the winds the cares of life. Second Priest let memory bring back the well-loved names of gallant friends who knew and loved this grove. Dear boon companions of long ago. Third priest. I. They shall join us in this ritual and not a place be empty in our midst. The high priest. O beauty's vassals who keep, in this great autumn of the world, her springtime in your hearts, I charge ye all, for lasting happiness we lift our eyes to one alone, and she surrounds you now, great nature, Refuge for the weary heart and only balm for breasts that have been bruised, her counsels are most wise. But ye must come as children, little children that believe, nor ever doubt her beauty or her faith, nor dream her tenderness can change or die. Sterling. Soft music by Edward Harris as the high priest ascends to be invested. Second priest. Gather, ye forest fold, and cast your spells over these mortals. Third priest. Touch their world blind eyes with fairy unguents. Second priest. Open their eyes of fancy and seal the gates of sorrow. Third priest. Do care and all his works are but a dream. As vanished Babylon and goodly tire so they shall vanish. Second priest. But the wilding rose blows on the broken battlements of Tyre and mosses rend the stones of Babylon. Third priest. 
For beauty is eternal and we bow to beauty everlasting. Irwin. The High Priest. Our funeral pyre awaits the corpse of care. The Bark are old by Charles Hart. The introductory horn solo comes from the direction of the ferry slip. The ferry of care, pulled by a lone boatman, appears and passes up the lake to the foot of the shrine. Acolytes await the barge. O thou, thus ferried cross the shadowy tide and all the ancient majesty of death do care, arch enemy of beauty. Not for thee the tender tribute and the restful grave, but fire shall have its will of thee and all the winds make merry with thy dust. Sterling bring fire. Fanfare of music by Lee Harline. Enter the torch bearers. The acolytes now seize and lift the beer from the barge, hold it high above their heads and bear it in triumph up to the pyre, accompanied by the choristers. The music is interrupted by the peals of thunder and rush of wind. The ensemble stands transfixed with surprise and awe. All lights down, except torches in the lamp. Care laughs upon the hill. The dead tree is illuminated. The voice of care. Fools. 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 When will ye learn that ye cannot slay? Year after year ye burn me in this grove, lifting your silly shouts of triumph to the stars. But when again ye turn your feet toward the marketplace, Am I not waiting for you, as of old? Fools. 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 To dream ye conquer care. The high priest has come down to the lake's edge and stands gazing up at the ghostly tree from which the voice of care has come. The high priest. Nay, thou mocking spirit, it is not all a dream. We know thou waitest for us when this our sylvan holiday shall end. And we shall meet and fight thee as of old and some of us prevail against thee, and some thou shalt destroy. But this, too, we know, year after year, within this happy grove, our fellowship has banned thee for a space, and thy malevolence that would pursue us here has lost its power beneath these friendly trees. So shall we burn thee once again this night, and in the flames that eat thine effigy we will read the sign, Midsummer set us free. The voice of care. So shall ye burn me once again, Ho, ho, not with these flames which hither ye have brought. From regions where I reign. Ye priests and fools. I spread upon your fire. Explosions at the pyre. The torches are instantly extinguished. No light saved from the lamp. Care's laughter fills the darkness. The high priest kneels and lifts his arm to the shrine. The high priest. O thou, great symbol of all mortal wisdom, Owl of Bohemia, we do beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. The music of fire finale begins, off stage. An aura of light begins to glow about the owl's head, gradually silhouetting the colossus. The voice of the owl. No fire, if it be kindled from the world where care is nourished on the hates of men shall drive him from this grove. One flame alone must light this pyre the pure eternal flame that burns within the lamp of fellowship upon the altar of Bohemia. Garthwaite. High Priest rises and ascends to lamp of fellowship. The High Priest. Great Owl of Bohemia, we thank thee for thy adjuration. Lights torch and turns toward pyre. Well should we know our living flame of fellowship can sear the grasping claws of care, throttle his impious screams and send his cowering carcass from this grove. Be gone, detested care, be gone. Once more we banish thee. Let the all-potent spirit of the slamp by its cleansing and ambient fire encircle the mystic scene hail fellowship. Be gone do care. Once again midsummer sets us free.